Do you love bubbles? Me? I hoard them actually. Living in several of them, I control them obsessively. They keep me sane when I play pretend busy. You do. Working. Because there's nothing more horrid than being found unbusy. And then came this year, with its hindsight 2020. And pop went my many bubbles, leaving a shower of debris. I had no choice but to look at the mess. I had no choice but to clear the dust clouds. No returns. Now that I can't run away from this. Now that I have to live in my house. <laughs> How could this happen to me? Just when I was about to take off. Leaving behind the struggles and insanity to the successful future I had dreamt of. As I was crying my woes, victiming, full of hurt, I felt a sharp pain in my clenched right palm. It was an overgrown nail I forgot to cut, that pierced through like a stinging bomb. Again, pop went another sad little bubble, but this time I landed right here. Looking at Pixie, I wonder, do cats know what is a purpose? A career? Suddenly it was an important question. More important than all important questions. So I went to investigate what so thoroughly held her attention. She was looking at the tree, probably plotting to attack a bird in her mind. But while I struggled to look through her eyes, for the first time I started looking through mine. And what a fascinating show it was. I don't remember if it was seconds, minutes or hours. Dancing in the sunlight, there were so many birds, trees and flowers. And suddenly, I was never gladder for the quiet unbusy. While we binge watched this show at Once Upon a Pixie.